After two weeks on the road and three wins to their name, Perth Thunder were knocking on the door of finals hockey in their inaugural season in the Australian Ice Hockey League. Back at a packed Perth Ice Arena, they were soon on the attack. Kenny Rolfe managed to find Rick Del Basso despite a strong hit by Adam Blanchett, but his shot was blocked by Kimlin. Four minutes into the first period and Phil Jinan picked up the puck off the boards and looked to go coast to coast. But as he shaped to shoot, he left the puck behind. The Blue Tongues looked to clear, but Brad Young picked it up for the Thunder. He picked out Jinan, who went behind the goal and set up Sam Wilson in the slot, but he scooped his effort wide. Halfway through the first period, and with the Blue Tongues on a power play, the Thunder showed great defensive discipline, as the Blue Tongues looked to draw them out of defence with some good, patient passing. Blanchett to Bale, he picked out Batoza, who tried to set up Adam Gerrick, but Smiley saved. Another power play two minutes later, and again the Thunder defence held firm. Sanford shot from the blue line, Smiley saved, and Gerrick looked to claim the rebound, but Del Basso cleared. The Blue Tongues picked up the puck and patiently built up another attack, but again Gerrick was denied by a desperate challenge by Del Basso. With the Thunder still short-handed, the Blue Tongues continued to try and stretch the Thunder defence. Cam True deflected Brucker's intended effort, Alex Hall fed Greg Bay, who pushed the puck wide, but when the shot came in, Smiley was there to smother. And then ensued a little scuffle between Hill and Hyde. Two men down and three minutes left in the period, and the Thunder's defence finally cracked. The puck came to Bay, who played it in to Bale, back to Bay, to Samford, who pushed it out to Bale. His shot was saved by Smiley, but Gerrick was first to the rebound, and the Blue Tongues had the lead. The sheer weight of numbers eventually paying dividends for the Blue Tongues, as Gerrick slides the puck into an empty net. The opening minute of the second period saw Thunder Pepperpot Kenny Rolfe carry the puck into the Blue Tongues attacking zone. He went behind the goal before a quick interplay with Jinan enabled him to find Jordan Kairos in the slot. But the Blue Tongues netminder saved and Mike McRae followed through with a high challenge. The Thunder then lost possession on the counter-attack and McRae picked up the puck on the blue line. His shot was saved by Smiley, but the rebound fell to Greg Bay, whose slap shot whistled past the Thunder netminder to stretch the Blue Tongues' lead to 2-0. The puck slides free, and Bay attacks it and fires the perfect shot past Smiley and into the net. The Thunder are nothing but resilient and were soon back in the game. Superb stick handling by Kenny Rolfe saw him keep possession in the attacking zone before picking out Aaron Wilson wide on the left. His shot was partially saved and Phil Jinnand was on hand to slide the puck home. The Thunder had clawed a goal back. Good work by Rolf, a strong shot by Wilson and a good save from Kimlin, but he lost sight of the puck and Phil Jinnand was on hand to push it over the goal line and pull a goal back for the Thunder, one that they richly deserved. Kenny Rolf was soon in the action again. He rolled McRae and launched another attack for the Thunder, with Jinnand leaving the Blue Tongues' Alex Hall in his wake, but as he looked to shoot, Alex Hall slid into the goal and with the goal out of place, the chance had gone. It was Hall who then broke forward for the Blue Tongues. He slipped a pass inside to Bale, but his effort was superbly saved by Smiley, with Gerrick ready to pounce. Next, it was Kenny Rolfe who picked up the puck off the boards. He laid it back to Del Basso on the blue line, and his one-timer hit the post. Jinan seized on the rebound, but his effort was saved. He then combined with Rolf to try and set up Kairos, but again, Kimlin saved. Then, not long after, following a face-off, True found Detoy, 
who fired past Smiley to restore the Blue Tongues' two-goal advantage. Etienne Dutoy caught the Thunder defence out of position and took full advantage of the space he was given to score past Smiley. 3-1 to the Blue Tongues. With the Thunder short-handed, the Blue Tongues swept forward with seven minutes left in the period with a slick interpassing move. And it was only the brilliance of Kiefer Smiley that stopped Greg Bay stretching their lead to 4-1. In the final period, Kenny Rolfe picked up the puck inside his defensive zone and then went on a solo attack driving at the Blue Tongues defence. And he was only denied by another save by Kimlin. The Thunder continued to look to attack at every opportunity. Rolf fed Ginand on halfway, who was taken out, but it was Rolf who was first to the puck. He drew the defender and slid a pass to Kairos, who scored from close range, and the Thunder were a goal away from tying up the game. Superb skills shown by Rolf to draw the defender and find Kairos, who slipped the puck through the five hole and into the net and send the Thunder fans into raptures. This finish confirmed from another angle. The Thunder 2, Blue Tongues 3, could they force overtime? But with the Thunder shorthanded again, it was the Blue Tongues who were applying all the pressure with eight minutes to go. And it was only once again the heroics of Kiefer Smiley keeping them at bay as he denied McRae and Adam Gerrick before stopping Blanchett and Brooker. With three minutes remaining, Rolf took the puck off Aaron Wilson and looked to go coast to coast. He looked to be tripped by Bay, but still managed to shoot and Kimlin smothered at the second attempt. With the clock ticking down, the Thunder desperately needed a goal and they pulled their goalie. Jordan Kairos fed Andrew Cox wide on the right, but a crucial block by Bay prevented him finding Jinan and the Blue Tongues had managed to hang on for a victory. The final score, Perth Thunder 2, the Blue Tongues 3.